show you why module bundlers were invented, let's first build a counter application. We'll start with the HTML, add a placeholder, add a button, and then add script tags for our JavaScript. Yes, I am using jQuery here, which I still think is a fantastic library. We will then add a script tag for our index.js in which we will do the actual counting. Let's write some CSS to make things look pretty. In the index.js, we write an onload event handler, then grab the button, attach a click handler, and increment the count of the counter. As you can see, it works great. Now, if I go back to the HTML and switch the order of the script tags, watch what happens. A runtime error. The cause of this is the implicit dependency between the JavaScript files. While it is pretty obvious in this example, what happens when there are hundreds or even thousands of dependencies? One solution could be to smoosh these two into one JavaScript file. This is what tools like Gulp and Grunt do. But maintaining these configuration is a job unto itself. We need a tool that recognizes dependencies, graphs them, and combines files to respect the dependency order. And this is exactly what a module bundler does. Browserify, Rollup, Webpack, and Parcel are examples of a JavaScript module bundler.